Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm gonna continue the build uh, in my outside of my house today. Um, I managed to get all the uh, the bookshelves inside. They all have some handy tips uh, for overhead chat commands, stuff that you do by saying words above your head uh, with the tab button on the uh, PC, or if you're on your mobile, then you've got your word bubble up in the corner that you gotta hit repeatedly. <laughs> Okay, um, so the idea with this one was kind of to do like a tricky kind of a parkour training course. Um, I'm going to get there, but first I need to kind of set up the, the level into some kind of bite-sized pieces here. So that's kind of what I'd started last time. I wanted to build this uh, little platform up here. Um, I'm going to put in the detail later on this guy. Uh, and I've got my chair right here, which I'm really glad to see worked out the way that it did. Um, I'm actually going to throw this real quick so I can uh, get into the actual building of this thing. Uh, if I use the respawner, uh, the respawner is a special item. It's from the castle um, in the trap furniture room. And this respawner, when you die in this house level now, um, you're going to appear right where that noob shows up here. So it, it pulls your character from wherever they, they wind up dying, um, and they're going to load up right on that couch there. So that was the plan with the couch initially. Um, from there, I think I'm going to move these guys over to the right. And I will match it up like that. And then, oh, hmm. gets a little sticky sometimes. Um, so then I'm going to keep these guys over here. Uh, -da -da. And it was one, no, I'm going to keep them on the right from there. Should be the same as the ones below, whatever the one below is doing. Oh, it's actually right on the edge. Okay. I stand corrected. Right there. Uh, maybe I can throw another one in on the right hand side. Yeah, looks perfect. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Okay, cool. So now I have a little narrow opening that's going to go up into this corner up here. I'm going to have to throw some more furniture items in here. However,. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to want to bring these guys over to the right-hand side. I'm going to want at least a few of these. Uh, keep it right about there, so it's obvious that it's below. <laughs> mm, don't think that one's going to work out. There, right there. You can pass through that one. It's got one, one space here. Yeah, so uh, the idea is that I want to have a kind of a, a track that goes through the house, um, something where you'll be able to navigate um, from hitting uh, a switch and some barriers that'll be included. Um, I'll probably throw in a couple of springboards and some conveyor belts, some spiky traps on the floor. Um, but I want the main focus to be that you're starting at the beginning right here. Uh, when you die, you're going to come back to this location. Um, and there's going to be a couple options on how to slip through or how to get into different areas. And, and you know what? Maybe, maybe I will take these guys over further. Mm, no, I'm going to leave this one the way it was. I know what I'll do. Flip this one, move it up, and now it leads to the final area up here. 
Uh, I think my key block is still in the guild house. But I'll throw a key block up here. I'll make them collect a password. Them. By them, I mean you. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay, so there it is there. Um, I will put my nexus key at the uh, required end of this maze area. Uh, I will put this key block. Probably it's going to wind up here, and I'll have some kind of fencing action going on. Uh, and then this key. Mm, Got to move away from it. And then this, no, and then this key. I'll throw up on top of the house for now. I'll come back to it, and that'll be my password. Uh, so when you find the key uh, in the maze, then it'll be the password. Great, awesome. Okay, um, so I'm going to take these guys. And block this area. Mm, I like it like that. And keep one of these guys up here. Uh, one higher. And then I can put one of these in there. Fill a little hole. Uh, this is going to be layer zero. Rotate it twice. Uh, it's going to go across the hedge here. Uh, and I will do the same thing over here. I'm going to add one of these guys. I think I've got all 12 of my small hedges in this spot. That was brilliant. Very good choice. <laughs> I'll keep them up here. <laughs> some on the right, some on the left. That way I can use them up later. Delete the rest of these guys. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to put my other uh, retro hedge right up here. Oh, no, retro hedge, what you're doing to me. There, perfect. One of these guys is going to get rotated twice. Same thing, layer zero. And drop it right inside of there so it looks like it's uh, up on the, the edge there. And I'm going to throw a springboard down there. Mm. Springboard. There we go. Oh, I got a few of those, eh? Awesome. All right. So the springboard's going to go down here. And I'll probably hide this later on, um, put it into some bush or something. And make the distance maxed out, and it will shoot you up into here somewhere. Uh, it's probably shooting to there, that's my guess. Yeah, that was why. Cool. So it's going to shoot you up into that little passage up there. Uh, I'm going to grab one of these bad boys. I can dupe another one. I can. And it's going to fit right. Oh. Almost going to fit right snug in there. Um, hmm. What to do about that? I know. I'll hit shift. No, that would not work because now I'd be able to walk through there. Hmm. Okay. Well, in that case, it's got to be another hedge. And yeah, that's just not working properly. It's got three units instead of two. Hmm, that's not cool. Okay, well, I'll have to figure something out for that so we can block that up. Um, maybe all of this will go over to the right. These hedges can easily be picked up and moved because they are not rooted to the ground. Easy. 
Okay, these guys are going to come over one, which is going to bung up my thing up at the top there. Uh, it kind of bungs everything up, actually, but that's okay for now. Cool. So that comes down over here. And you can kind of see what I'm going for with my, my layout to have an area up here where you kind of have to do something. I'm going to make it a switch somewhere on the, the side of the level here where you can go and grab it. And then this is now um, not working like I want it to. However, I think if I throw one of these guys in there, I can throw a hedge in and it'll fix it. Or maybe just a hedge. That could work. <laughs> Go figure. Okay. So that's figured out now. I've got a little kind of a, a deck up here. And then from there, the player will come down below. Springboard up. And then they can figure out that little area there. Okay, cool. Moving back out of here. Uh... This will definitely be... Oh, actually, that looks pretty cool right where it is. Maybe that's useful. And then they can come up into this section up here. Cool. Okay. Roll with it. Um, now... Coming down onto the right-hand side here. I'm going to have to shift these guys over, too, because this is not working properly. Got the same issue here that we got three units. Um as opposed to having something else going on. Uh, that darn hedge just isn't lining up properly. Okay, so maybe what I will do here instead... Uh, ooh, what happens if I put it there? I don't think I can walk through that. Nope, no good. Okay. So some of these furniture items are um, old Nexus stuff. Uh, some of these items are annual. Uh, these gothic fences are annual. These guys here. Uh, one of my favorite fence objects. It's still a little bit tricky to uh, work with if you're trying to do the half increments. It doesn't work very nicely. It doesn't play well with the other um, furniture. Uh, but for appearance, it's pretty neat. And also for... Um, the uh, the effect of like cording off a large area, having a whole bunch of these. I mean, they're super expensive. They're a thousand bucks each, but um, being able to to add them and and block up some space is very nice. So I I do recommend um, saving up and spending some cash on these for uh, Halloween. Um, I got twenty, I think. But then I just refunded a, an upload back then when they first came out. Okay, so we got a little bit of space at the bottom there. We can deal with uh, these guys over here. You can continue and going up here. Uh, I'm not so good with that hedge being there. I think we can probably move him over one. And down. Looks pretty good. Ding. Okay, and then it's up in this section up here, and we have that same issue cropping up where we have... Oh, no, it's only four. That's not three. Not a problem. Okay, this is starting to look a little bit interesting. Um, up here... Big fan of the barbed wire fence. I don't know if it's in my inventory. Barbed wire, yes it is. Oh, I'm missing two pieces. I had 14. Cool, so I'll be using some barbed wire fences up here. Uh, keep them there for now. Alrighty. Um, now I'm going to start looking at the positioning of objects um, in the level. So, um, something that I had touched on in another video um, that's kind of cool uh, is using this uh, arrows. Some of these objects will block arrows, some of them will not. So you can see that the, the retro hedge 
uh, blocks arrow fire. If I try and shoot through the retro hedge, it won't let me. But if I hop up here and I run around down here and I shoot through this hedge, this hedge will let me shoot through it. Okay, so what's going to happen now is I'm going to have to have a couple of switch points and a series of barriers to make it interesting for the player to get through. Okay. Okay, so I'm going B-A-R-R, -R, uh, searching for my barriers. I have eight barriers. That means that they're all in there. Um, I'm going to add one right here. I definitely know that this is going to be a barrier section. Uh, and I will color that. We'll say as red. First one there. Okay, and then this one here, I'm going to throw down below. Um, I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to make this one blue. Uh, then I'm actually going to take another one and put it on the other side and make it red. Same thing. So this one's a red one, this one's a blue one. Um, we got a red, a blue, and a red. Um, to clean it up a little bit, I'm going to make another blue one. And it's going to come over on that side. Oop, I pushed way too many buttons there. Okay, so this blue one is going to go... Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep it up here. So that when the switch, which we haven't placed yet, changes color, then these barriers are also going to shift. Okay, so here's a shit switch. Uh, and that switch is going to go in the corner over here. Mm, I keep it in alignment with that wall, or I'm going to keep it there. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for the wall. Keep it a little further out, make it a little more difficult to see what you're supposed to do. So if I shoot it from here, oh, I completely miss it from here. <laughs> oh, and I can't move through. That's blue. Maybe I gotta shoot it like that. There we go. Oh, it's still not letting me through for some reason. Uh-huh, okay. Try it again. Yeah, that... For some reason, I'm not getting through here. Uh... Is there something else in that spot? Or is my barrier just tweaking out? Yeah, my barrier is just tweaking out, I think. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Now it's thinking properly. It was on all still somehow, I don't know. Okay, so I'll hit it a couple more times and switch it back. Oh. Gotta shoot it one more. Always one more. Cool, that's working. I'm gonna shoot the red one, go through the red. Awesome. Okay. Uh, these guys. I'm gonna bring to the other side. Make it layer zero. Put it underneath my fence or my uh, hedges over here, so they also look like they're high up. And I am generally a fan of keeping these linked together, but this is a scenario where I will gladly um, leave these two abutting um, so that it looks contentious. Like, this looks proper now. I mean, if I were to um, add one more unit and... Uh, oh, sorry, one more um, acorn fence. Like, if I were to go like this and add an acorn fence here and put... Uh, uh, you know what? Maybe I can add something on there that's make it look right. Um, 
if I were to do this, I'd have to put another piece of acorn fence vertically in here, and it would look goofy anyway. It would be the same thing. It would just be on one side. This actually gets almost unnoticeable, and it still looks good. It's still good. Um, however, maybe I can go for uh, something to actually play that up a bit. Even though it goes against my, my logic of um, putting all the big stuff, blocking everything up uh, first, because this is kind of an idea on the fly, um, I'm going to put these sword banners on here. Uh, sword banner, you're layer two. I'm going to make it layer one. There we go. That's proper. And I'll put one on the other side too. Even though it doesn't need it for the same reason, like we don't need to have that same thing, um, I'm going to throw it in the same location on the other side here, or close to the same location. Um, I keep it right here. Same thing. Layer one. Uh, and, oh yeah, it's got to be rotated one time for the sword icon. All right. Okay, um, so I have uh, my respawner. I have a couple of uh, barrier points that I have to use to get through this kind of gauntlet area. Oh, I can hit that one. And go through here. Um, I'm going to kill myself just to make sure my respawner is working. And there I am, sleeping on the couch. Good to go. Alrighty. Um, so I'm going to add probably a flag and some statues and some other cool stuff in here so people can enjoy it. Um, I know that people like to kind of compete in houses when there's interactive stuff going on. Um, it might be cool to actually set up something that was a little bit more intended in that direction, but I want to have it be um, kind of like a, a course to run through as opposed to uh, competition in this one. If somebody's looking for tips or help on making like a tower level, I love doing that too. Um, maybe we'll do that in our next build, move in that direction of stuff that's more interactive. Um, I mean, this is pretty interactive, it's gonna get there. Uh, but with you, when you build up that intention in mind, especially using two respawners, um, I'm only going to use one respawner in this build, but, um, for the next one, maybe we'll do two respawners and show what, like, uh, you know, uh, a battle royale kind of thing looks like. Okay, cool. Um, well, thanks everybody for watching and I will see you next time.